Coming up next is the UFC Heavyweight Division Collision. This guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting step one, step two, before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a quick sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. All right, here he is for my money, Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Choi is 10 years his senior. He will have a five inch reach advantage. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 131 pounds. Fighting out of Kinshasa, Congo, Boom Boom. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea. All right, going through the rules of the locker room. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, my friend. You ready? You ready? Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it'll be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. And they separate. And that strike blocked by Choi. Right hand on point. Oh, and he caught the kick. Well, perhaps 
perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And they separate. Joy gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Oh, that right hand is on point. Oh, that's a nice strike. Joy's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Whiffs on the straight right hand. So it looks. Man, this is flashy, but certainly effective here tonight. So let's see if he can close the show from here. Oh! Oh! The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. Now it's his mouth. So you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Choi's pass attempt denied. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Close guard. Now, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to fold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Nowadays, you see guys just throwing little shots that don't really matter. Very few guys now are committed to ground and pound as they were in the past. Back to the feet now. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Big all punch land. Now we get back to range. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. Boy, huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now we need to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. 15 seconds to go. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Oh, collar tie. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. See if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. 
Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And now he's got the tie clinch. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Choi's shot there is blocked. Beautiful. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Beautiful counter punch. Really settling in when it comes to his counter attack here tonight. And again, making good use. Oh, oh DC, would you look at this? The Imanari roll out of nowhere. And now right into a heel hook transition. His opponent has been rendered defensive here. Let's see if he can survive. Got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Oh, so an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Oh, nice slip there. Sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp. Cat and mouse, you gotta play cat and mouse. Hit and don't get hit, and he does a great job of that. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. What a punch. Leg kick now. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Look at the whip. Oh, his opponent's gotta be more urgent here. That's gonna hurt. Gotta get out of there. Oh, wow, oh, oh! Oh, nice! Oh, we're getting a finish here! Wow! Oh, right to the mount. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Close guard. Choi's looking to pass from full guard into half guard here, but he's denied. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. All right, working inside the close guard now. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Both guys really throwing with authority. This is right hand right there. Seconds winding down in round two. And that's the end of round number two.
All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. You ready? You ready? Most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nice. Blocks the shot. Oh, landing a punch with the left hand now, so certainly putting it all together on the feet tonight. He's doing a lot of work with his offhand. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Beautiful kick. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Powerful leg kick land. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Beautiful punch. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. And back to his feet. Such a fast leg kick. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Single collar tie now. And now he's got that tie clinch. Let's we'll see what he can do with it. see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. Let's see if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning. But it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound but very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position. Ball lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Well, you're starting to see the damage now, bleeding from his cheek. Nice punch, Lance. Nice kick to the body. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with... Oh, man, look at that. Victor, perfect. Got to the leg. Got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are, because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs, and if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on it. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity patting. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Nice punch there. Punch is blocked. Now he counters with a right hook to the head. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Choi. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. And they set. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Big head kick. Nice 
strike to the midsection glances. Man, he is what a round. All right, and there's the horn, and you hear the collective sigh from the crowd. They're all watching that lip, and we're monitoring it as well. Nasty, nasty gash. It's only getting worse by the moment. Doctor called in here. We'll see if he stops the fight. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot of leg kicks for good measure in that round. I mean, leg kicks are the key. You watch people win fights with just leg kicks, especially in this game. I mean, it is my strike of choice. I love the animation when I've landed so many leg kicks that my opponent just kind of waves me off and the fight gets stopped. Keep throwing them. If they're not going to check them, keep throwing the leg kicks. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. And there comes the separation now. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, you might get a finish here in the not-too-distant future. Nice move to punch. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. Got to slow down. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes, and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection. Oh! oh! Wow, you don't see that every day. Beautiful Imanari roll. Right into a heel hook attempt now. now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arm. His arms are free to punch. He's collecting you with his hips and his legs, making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get grounded upon in the mat, or if you're going to give your back up, where he will then start to chase chokes. A lot of energy expenditure defensively if you are the bottom fighter in this equation. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Most finish the point. Single collar tie now. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh man, that cut is getting worse by the minute. Looking ghastly at this point. A nice punch by the Korean Super Bowl. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, loaded up on that uppercut, but it's no good. Whoa! Again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Wow! He's out! He's done! He's done! Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of it. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliotta has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 32 seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Duho Chong. Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.